This line chart is showing me week-wise total volume. All the time I see my last week's volume pointing towards the downward direction. The reason behind this is, this week is incomplete, and it can have even one-day data as well for the current week. I don't want to see this in my weekly chart, and I can manually remove it by unchecking the current week from the week's list. But if I will follow this approach, I will have to do this all the time, whenever I will enter into a new week. Let's solve this problem. This is my calendar dates table, and I need to add three calculated columns here. My first column name is weekday. In this, I will calculate the day of the week, where I will also be required to mention the start and end day. One indicates that my week starts on Sunday, while two indicates that the week start day is Monday. For this demo, I will choose one, and this will calculate the day of the week for each dates of my calendar table. Before I create the final column which will be used in my visual, let me calculate the weekend dates for each dates. So my second column name is Weekend Date. To calculate this, my DAX expression will calculate current date plus 7 minus weekday. This way, I will get the weekend date for each date of the rows. I can change this to date data type. As that you can see, for all these incomplete week dates, the weekend date is June 17th. You can also verify in the calendar. The previous weekend was on 10th, and same can be seen as weekend date for my previous week dates. Finally, I will create the main calculated column named as include or exclude. For simplicity, I am creating separate columns, otherwise we can also combine all three columns into one as well. Here I am creating this variable named count dates, where I will store the count of weekend dates. And to ignore any circular dependency issues, I will also use all except weekend date. In my return statement, I will validate if variable count date, which is the distinct count of all the weekends, is less than 7, then I will return as exclude, else return include. This way, my calculated column will validate for each row, and will check whether to include or exclude. We still have one problem, but let's use this column as visual level filter in our line chart, and check if it is working as expected or not. So I will drag this column on visual level filter, and then I will uncheck the exclude option. This way, the incomplete week has been removed, but if you notice here, I don't even see the first week of the year. Let's check out why is this happening. I will select only the exclude option to check the issue. As that you can see, for the first week, I don't have the data for January 1st, and that is being counted as incomplete. Do ignore such issues, I will modify my expression a little bit, and I will include one additional condition. Since I want this logic to be applied only on the current week, I will also mention the week number is equal to max week number. This way, it will only exclude the dates from incomplete current week, and not from the historical weeks. Now if you will again check you visual, you will see the data from first week as well. This solution is very useful, because many times we get such demands to only show the complete weeks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI.